Okay, um, halfway through week three, and we've had some exciting things happening. Uh, you see the lads here who are planning away using the planning frame. Uh, let's see. Who wants to explain what's going on? Um, yeah. I can explain. So, okay, Clay. What we're doing is we're drawing a scale of exactly what's going on in this pit. And each one of these little squares here is 20 centimeters. So we're hanging the plumb bob down directly through the square so we can get a better idea of where it is. And then we're just drawing it down so we have a perfect scale drawing. And let's see your perfect scale drawing. Yeah. Then, then, let's see. Well, it looks like a perfect mess right now. Um, this is all we're drawing, all these little stones all throughout here. Yeah. Uh, it looks perfect to me. Carry on. Let's see. Say hi, Ray. Hello. <laughs> Say hi, Jared. <laughs> right, but the exciting thing's down here. Not that what they're doing is not vitally important or anything, you know, because it, it is. It, it, it's fine. They're grand. But we think we finally found the thing we came here to, to look for. So you'll remember this trench uh, from the other videos. And we'd originally be expecting a big stone building and then we found um, a large earthen looking mound well we had to stop we had to plan all that and uh, record it we were doing 3d topo models of the whole site so it takes a while to get all the recording done so we finally finished that off and um, well we started with a little sondage this morning just to see if that mound was going to be natural or um, archaeological and as you can see now we're into something properly stony and constructed and we've just got this bit up here that's, uh, that's finished work very much in progress as you can see I'll try and show you the stratigraphy in here so this whole mass of orange material seems to be peat ash and peat ash with charcoal in it so it's the debris from fires but um, huge amounts of them this is this is some serious quantity of, of, of burnt peat ash i think that's what it is we will we will have to check that and down in the bottom you can see something that looks more like a, a normal soil sort of grayish uh, grayish sandy soil down there also got charcoal in so we're getting lovely dating material now uh, which we'll get dates from this we'll be able to get nice solid dates from that as well and then you remember the building that was sitting up here this circular wall well we can see this now is almost certainly is a, a secondary building because along here you got the top of this peat ash and then another layer of soil peaty soil that building's sitting on top of and the actual stone the the main stone mound all of this stuff is under the peat ash so there's a good bit of separation now there is some collapse obviously and uh well once we've dug all this orange material away we should we should start understanding the site start understanding it better and you can see from down here what we're up to So we have a nice radial section coming down and we're going to take up all the overburden uh, to the left here where Nick and Morgan are and then we're going to take all the overburden off on this side where uh, Julian has been it's just a f and then we'll have a real nice section through the, the mound on well we'll have uh, four nice sections through the mound to record all that but yeah we're happy today um, as I say, it's, it's nice to finally see it. Very, uh, we're digging the single context method, so it's very time consuming to record each layer as we go down. But it's, it's worth it in the end, and these 3D models we're going to do, uh, once we've done all the computer processing, should be uh, pretty sensational. Here's, say hi Julian. How's it going? <laughs> there he goes. Say hi Nick. Nick's very happy, he's found something interesting as well. 
Uh, you can see here, this is Nick's new blob, um, which is a, a discrete patch of, ch of charcoal soil overlying the, the orange ashes. So we're just stopping to, to record that separately. It's just been planned and now we're going to uh, photograph it and sample it. So that's another, another separate horizon, um, all with loads of charcoal in it. I don't know if you can see all the, the black stuff down there. But that's very good. Um, and we'll just say hi to Morgan. Hi Morgan. Okay, this is the end of the third week. Sorry, it's very windy up here again. Um, so I don't know what the sound quality will be like, but we'll have a go. Um, this is the first quarter, the one we've been working on since the, the first day. And it's coming along very nicely now. I think we're starting to get a proper idea of what's happening. Um, if you can see, if I get up there. And there you go, we seem to have a, a sort of radi uh, concentric set of curbstones running through the mound. So you can see the first one here, and then the next one up, and maybe that building is the top one. Um, but certainly this is looking um, much more like a sort of tumulus or a cairn now, uh, because you don't really find this sort of building style in domestic structures anyway. It wouldn't really make sense. So you've the outer wall, a soil infill, and then a middle wall, and then another soil infill very interesting we'll have a look well next week we'll finish off taking the far side out um, and then we should have a really good idea if that that's actually what's happening the key to the site of course is still going to be uh, this central building um, but maybe now could we be talking about a, a burial chamber I don't know it's possible it's certainly possible it's still quite likely as well that this inner wall the one that we can see prominently anyway is a, a secondary structure built on top of an earlier cairn. Um, but that's where we're up to after three weeks. Uh, I think it's going quite well actually. I think uh, it's not, as I say, it's, as you know, it's, it's not what we expected, but um, it's certainly a very nice sight. I can't wait now to get this quarter off because we'll see how it connects to those two stones and we've really got a big height change here across this slope so uh, hopefully all these these radial patterns will continue across there all these concentric patterns and um, yeah it's looking good well it's Friday afternoon it's been quite a wet and cold day the crew are over there ready to go uh, they've had enough and I don't blame them so we're gonna head off and uh, see you next week